Hey everyone, so on today's how to, going to be replacing the low um, ball joint. So, what you're going to need is a new ball joint, new rubber cover, because going to the old one's already flogged out, and I'm getting new bolts um, to hold this part on as well. Get the genuine ones, don't get a, you know, what you think is a good replacement. You can get some triple five Japan made ones, a second hand option, first and not second hand, aftermarket option. I've had two sets and they've both been fogged up after about 15,000 k so get the genuine ones. Now I'll show you how to, to check whether your ball joints are fogged out or not. What you want to do is get your, get a pry bar and go between the actual lower control arm and the actual ball joint there and hopefully you can see it moving slightly. So this one here's only got about maybe a mil, if that, maybe two max. Um, my driver's side one had about four or five mil worth of play. It was, it was about to fall off. So this one's not too bad. A little bit of play, really shouldn't have any any play in it. So what we're going to do is to uh, to get it off. Uh, jack the car up, obviously. To check it, you don't need to take the wheel off. You just need to jack the car up enough just to get the wheel. You don't want about you know, that much of the wheel off the ground to be able to check it see if it's going to play it. So, take it off. You need to uh, take your steering knuckle out. Or your tie rod in, I should say. Maybe a little split pin, so just get your pliers on there. Best practice is to replace these with new ones. So if you've got a, a box of new split pins, do that. Put a new uh, new split pin in there. The ball joint comes with a new, a new uh, split pin and and castle nut get that out sometimes locking those pliers aren't we better for that so we'll get that one off if I remember that's a 19 mil not too bad that, uh, I'll give you the torque specs at the end but for memory that's about 80 newton meters to torque back up to um, and then you've got one on the ball joint to get that split pin out and that's a 24 mil um, socket um, undo them you need to undo that one and then you need to undo these ones here there's four of them two on the front two on the back so undo all of them and then uh, and then it should come out and i'll just show you how i get it out and that's what the pry bar is for as well so once you've uh, once you got your wheel off and everything you got your split pin out undo that so that's a 19 now you know ideally you want to have a bull joint puller to pull off the tire rod um, and and probably even get the actual bull joint uh, lower bull joint one out as well um, I've always found that um, a slight hammer on the the end here never hit the nut um, or the uh, that with a hammer if you have to hit something um, put a plank of wood you know, a bit of wood over there or a light tap on here but um, this one was pretty easy sometimes you might need to turn the wheel um, from left to right sometimes that help, helps um, to get it off now before you see that one's that one's off now I've got that there just gave it a couple of taps there and a little love tap here with a piece of wood and a hammer is undo all these nuts down here that actually hold the ball joint um, on so those ones there undo them or crack them at least and the bottom one before you take the tie rod out otherwise your hub then just moves around willy nilly as you're trying to trying to crack those so I've got all of them off uh, now it's time to put the, uh, get the ball joint out and then we'll go and place them bring them in so once you've undone um, everything I've actually pulled it out now all you do is you get your pry bar and you put it in between the coil and the upper control arm and you can lift it up once you've undone those four bolts and then get it out. Uh, do yourself a favour and get a ball joint puller. Um, I've got it out. The driver side came out in about half an hour. So far, you know, I've been in and out of the house doing stuff, but it's probably taken me probably an hour to, to get that off. So definitely spend the money, get a ball joint puller. And a good one at that, like a uh, not one that spreads apart, you can get one that clamps on with a bolt in the middle. Um, get one of them. So, we'll get a rag, clean all this up, 
um, and then we'll, uh, we'll start to put the, uh, the new one in. So one thing I've you've probably seen me do a lot is uh, use this anti seize. Um, you don't have to. I would have put someone here. That's why it's probably still pretty shiny. Um, and just put it around the thread or the actual ball joint bit that goes into the um, into the lower control arm, just to stop any kind of corrosion happening in there. Um, and I'll put a little bit um, on these uh, these ones here. And then it's a matter of just putting a new one in, be careful of the thread. You might need to pull that away. It's a bit too used if you had yeah, two hands. And just be careful as you are playing with this that you don't pull the CV shaft out of like the trinion joint because this is floating in the the um, inner CV there, you just don't pull this too far out. If you do, just make sure it goes and turns before you do it all up. Um, so that's in there. Now it's just a matter of getting a nut on that. Um, no, we need to put this on first. I forgot to put this on. So we'll pull that back out and uh, we'll chuck that on. There is two ways that these can go. So you grab your, your ball joint cover and your boot cover so it doesn't quite line up that way and it goes around that way so you just need to put this on before you uh, put it on it lines up with those two holes and it just sits there uh, quite nicely and then you chuck it in the same way as I did before you just chuck it in and I've put a little bit of any seeds on those, those bolts top and bottom as well now you do want to put some thread locker um, on your bolts, so that's what I've done there. So, yeah, on your bolts, I just put that a little bit on the end, and as you screw up, it will go up. And just make sure that when you do do it up, that that rubber seal, that rubber boot, is in still in the right spot. See what the rubber boot there just protects the and get the crap on or whatever. So lock tight on these four, nothing on the bottom one, that's what the split pin's for. Yeah, just lock tight and all thread locker um, on on those ones, those four that go in there. And we'll do those ones up to eight and eighty Newton meters uh, with the torque wrench. But get everything in a little bit, just get it all done up. Um, even the uh, the uh, tire rod in and then talk everything up to um, up to spec after that. They're all done up. All uh, talked them up with now my dirty torque wrench because it's been lying in the mud. Uh, so this one goes to which is tire rod is 90. These ones here, the actual bolt through for the um, ball joints are 80, and then the, the actual main one is 140, and then. Once you've got it in, you just need to make sure you try and line up the casting nut as much as you possibly can. You might need to go tighten it up to 140 or something like that, and you might need to go a little bit more or take it off, rotate it or something like that. But then put your split pin through, so you bend one of them down like that, and then you just bend the other one up so that it can't come undone. And the same with same with that one. That one there, so that's it, then you put the wheel on, uh, and then if you're all done, there's no need to re tighten them on that. You might want to check these ones, but putting Loctite, uh, you might want to check these ones here, but putting Loctite on them is pretty safe, and just check them maybe getting out some case and see how much you've got playing it. But having the uh, the genuine ones on there, they should last hundreds of thousands of case, like the original ones did on your car. Um, so I can't highly recommend enough get the genuine one. Um, this is the passenger side one uh, part number and I'll get the, uh, the driver side one and show you the part number of that as well. Uh, the only other thing uh, you'll need to get the part numbers of are the little boots if they are not good um, anymore. So I'll get you the part number of that one and uh, basically you just put the wheel back on now and then we're all done.
and this is the part number of the right hand um, side just confirm with your, your own car if that's the right part number for your car but these are the ones that I use for the uh, 90 series of mine which is the 2000 model so that's all for, the, for that one like always if you like it just give it a thumbs up and subscribe I am trying to get another camera to uh, so you can actually show me actually or I can show you the process as I'm doing it opposed to just in between so I have to hold the camera uh, for that so uh, enjoy thank you Thank <laughs> you.